Let's face it, pretty much every first person shooter has a crosshair so that you know what you're aiming at. In this Godot tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make one. For this tutorial, we're going to have to use some kind of drawing program to create our crosshair. I'm using Krita, but you can use pretty much any drawing program you want, including MS Paint if you don't have anything else. I'm going to create a new file, and the first thing I'm going to do is set the size of my crosshair image. In my case, I'm going with 40 by 40 pixels. You can pick whatever size you want, but I highly recommend choosing an even number since it makes things a lot easier later on. So here's my blank canvas, and I've got this grid pattern overlaid on top as a guide to help me draw the crosshair. You may or may not have this option in your drawing program, but it doesn't make a huge difference. Anyways, I'm going to use this line tool and I'm going to pick this nice green color for the crosshair. And then I'm just going to draw a simple cross shape. Once that's done, I'm just going to hide the grid pattern and make the background transparent and then save the image as a PNG. However this works in your program, just make sure to save the image as a PNG with a transparent background, then import the image into your Godot project. Once we're in Godot, go to the scene for your first person character controller. Watch my video on first person character controllers if you don't know how to make one. Then right click on the camera node and select add child. In the window that pops up, type texture rect in the search bar, click on the texture rect node and press create. This will take you to a 2D scene where you can add your crosshair image so that it can be overlaid on top of your game. In the inspector, you'll see a tab called Rect. In it, you're going to adjust the size of the rectangle to match the size of your crosshair image. In Godot, the default is 40 by 40 pixels, which is conveniently the same size as my crosshair image, but make sure that the size matches your crosshair image exactly. Next, navigate to the folder where you've kept your crosshair image and drag it into the empty box next to texture in the inspector. This will place the crosshair on the top left of the scene. Now, all you need to do is place the crosshair exactly in the center of the scene. To do this, you first need to know the resolution of the game project you're working on. Mine is 1920 pixels on the X axis and 1080 pixels on the Y axis. And the first thing to do is in the position property, divide the X axis resolution in half. In my case, it's 960, which moves the crosshair almost to, but not quite top center. In order to get it exactly center, you then have to subtract half the width of the crosshair image from the X axis, which in my case is 20 pixels, and this puts the crosshair exactly top center. This is why I recommend using an even number to size your crosshair image, since it's easier to divide evenly. Then you're going to repeat the same process for the Y axis. In my case, it's 540 pixels, then subtract 20 to make it 520 pixels. Now you have a perfectly centered crosshair. Now when you run the game, you should see a crosshair in the center of your screen. Easy. You can make your crosshair as simple or as complicated as you like, and it shouldn't have any effect on your game's performance. Though if you're curious about my computer setup, you can check out the links in the description. I won't be covering how to make animated crosshairs in this video, but if you're interested in seeing a video on that in the future, then leave a comment down below. Anyways, thanks for watching. I have links to my Discord and all of my social media in the description. And as always, have a nice day.